All right, this is a bit of a different topic, but I had to share this. I was excited when I won this on eBay, and I thought, you know what, if it's any good, I'm gonna demo this on a podcast and show you how it all sounds. What am I talking about? It's this microphone right next to me. I won it for $2.20. Yes, $2.20, and there's more of them on eBay right now. It's insane. So this microphone is a full-blown condenser mic. It came with the uh, the shock mount. It came in a box with some cables and also has a pop filter or one of those windshield, you know, little foam things you can put on the mic. I'm not using that right now. But yeah, this is the box right here. So yeah, I won that for $2.20. It cost me $8 delivery and I got it within, a, oh, what was it, four or five days? <laughs> So it was awesome. I thought, you know what, I'm going to take a chance with this microphone and see how it goes. On the specs, I thought, you know what, for two bucks, if it's a piece of junk, I'll just throw it out or give it to a friend that, or you know, someone's kids or whatever that can use it for some home recording. But I was actually pretty surprised. It sounds pretty warm and pretty cool. And for two bucks, it's awesome. I very have ever, rarely ever won something at the starting bid price usually if something's say a dollar or 99 cents or whatever when they're listed on ebay it will go up to a reasonable number this didn't it stayed at two bucks and i got the color i wanted as well i wanted the black with the gold and i thought yep you know what that's just too cool so let me give you a quick rundown of these specs here and you can check them out if you choose to so it's uh the frequency response is 20 to 20 like all condenser mics or most uh studio condenser mics so the max sound pressure level is 130 decibels, which is great. You could put this in front of a guitar amp and it would record great as well. Uh, signal, signal to noise ratio is 78 dB and it requires 3 milliamps to run. And uh, yeah, that's about it. It doesn't really have much else in terms of information on here. But for $2, it was definitely <laughs> worth a shot. And what cracked me up the most is... It had a Rode NT1 microphone in the graphics, and I was like, hang on a second, did they send me the wrong microphone? If they sent me one that looks like that, I'm like, yes, this is awesome. And maybe it was an accident. But when I opened it up, it was this gold microphone, and I was pretty wrapped with the color. Like I mentioned, that was the color that I wanted. They sold pink ones and green and orange and all kinds of different colors, but the black with the gold looked pretty cool, and it kind of reminded me of a Marshall, you know, like Marshall amplifier color scheme so i thought yeah that'll do it feels pretty sturdy there is one problem with it the there's a like a ring of metal underneath the actual diaphragm if you unscrew the bottom of the mic off you can remove this ring it's just an like an outside the enclosure thing so it's there for looks but it can rattle a little bit if you're using it like this it's never going to rattle but that ring you can basically take off think of it kind of like those pieces of rubber they put on it on a Beta 58 microphone, for example, they either, they're there or they're not. It doesn't really make any difference. That's what they've done here. They've put a little ring of gold around the, fake gold around the uh, microphone that you can remove if you choose to. But uh, yeah, so all in all for $2.20, I'm like, this has got to be pretty cool. And if it's not, let me know. But yeah, let me know what you think of the sound quality on this as well. I absolutely appreciate that.